real. Oh, wouldn't you wish just one of these dinosaurs would just eat his face? <laughs> Hello there, friends, and welcome to another More Movies Reacts. My name's Greg Fisher, his name is David Roberts, and in these videos, we like to watch the trailer for a forthcoming movie, have a little chat about it, react to it, have another little chat about it afterwards. That kind of thing, you know the score. How are you doing, Dave? I'm pretty good, sir. I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm not too bad for an old dinosaur like me. I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Talking of old dinosaurs, this week I thought we would react to the trailer for the new Jurassic Park movie. It's actually called Jurassic World these days. It's called Jurassic World Dominion. Are you a fan of Jurassic Park and dinosaurs? Did you used to play with them as a kid? Uh, well, I, I mean, I wasn't a massive fan of... I wouldn't say I was a massive fan of dinosaurs growing up, but the first two films I thought were great. Uh, you know, I think everyone... From that era, you know, loved Jurassic Park. They were great films. The original two. What about I didn't like what, the third you one. didn't like it? No, I thought it was a bit. Uh, it's getting then, a bit. Yeah, uh, by then. Okay. And then by the time we got to uh, Jurassic World the other year, I thought that was a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> we talking turkey, my bear? Yes. A huge turkey. <laughs> but I have not even bothered watching the uh, the last one. Was it Fallen Kingdom? I think it was called. I believe so. Um, I didn't bother watching that one, so mm. that's okay. my history with Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, talking of the history of Jurassic, 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 Jurassic Park? Spit it out. Jurassic Park. Um, obviously, like you said, the first film is an absolute classic. I think it was 1993, Steven Spielberg, massive movie at the time, took over the world for that year. Uh, you know, everywhere you look, there was Jurassic Park. It was on lunch boxes, it was on t shirts, it was on TV. It was everywhere. It was Jurassic Park. Uh, I think the original novel written by Michael Crichton, correct me if I'm wrong. I think so, yeah. I actually I remember reading those books. So, obviously, in the first movie, you had British cinema legend Richard Apra as uh, Hammond, John Hammond, was it? Something like that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So, yeah, then uh, fast forward a couple of years to um, 2015, and we have Jurassic World, directed by Colin Trevorrow. Uh, it does honor the legacy of the first three films, but it's now doing its own thing. It's like fast forward 20 years. This is what's going on on Isla Nublar or whichever island they were on. Uh, you said you didn't enjoy this one very much. No, I just, uh, I'm not the biggest Chris Pratt fan. Um, I thought it was, you know, cheesy, uh, 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 silly effects and stuff. It was rerunning and retreading the story we, we knew before, so it kind of just felt like it's just this again. Um, but this time you've got over-the-top CGI that wasn't needed. It didn't feel like there was any gravity to it. It was just like... Hey, look, it's dinosaurs, and uh, I think it got it, it. all was very, you know, in terms of as it went on, this action sequences got sillier. The moment they were in the hamster balls rolling down a hill, I was just, <laughs> I gave up. I was like, this is just. I stupid. have to admit, I was going to ask you about the hamster balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a bit. It was, it was all right. Uh, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was what it was. It's like, you know, this is the thing about Steven Spielberg. People can say, oh, he's just famous for making blockbusters and being a real successful sort of like a big budget uh, movie creator, but really he's, he's a very, very talented artist. And I think you can sort of, that can be measured by the fact that when these sequels get done and it's not him at the helm, it's telling because he's just such yeah. a master at the, you know, uh, working with actors, developing characters doing all that important stuff. In the first film, like I said, you had uh, Richard Ambrose, John Hammond, very funny portrayal there, really cool. Do you remember that? I hate that, man. I used to love that <laughs> stuff. Samuel L. Jackson's in there, smoking yeah. his head off. Um, it was fun. It was great fun, you know. Um, by the time we get to this one, it does feel a little bit, like you said, much of a muchness. The uh, special effects are a bit, oh, God, over the top. The story is very similar to uh, what we experienced in the first one. Is there anything new in there? No. So I have to admit it as well, I never watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom uh, 2018. I didn't watch it. I didn't get, get round to it. It wasn't like it was put in front of me and I said, no, 
Uh, I'm not watching yeah. it. I just never got around to it. Um, I, I think just because what. But... Yeah, I think just because what it, Jurassic World didn't make a big impression on me, I didn't go hunting it out. Clever girl. Um, so, so never watched it. No, same. But now we're getting we're getting to the meat and bones here. Jurassic World Dominion. The trailer has just been released, and it's no secret that Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, and the wonderful Laura Dern are back. So, without further ado, let's roll the tape. Let's watch this trailer. Let's react to it. Let's have another chat afterwards. What do you say, sir? Let's do it. Roll the lead team. They've gone uh-huh. snowy on this one. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. They're on bro- Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> That's a bit silly, isn't it? Something that was real. Oh, wouldn't you wish just one of these dinosaurs would just eat his face? <laughs> something that they could see and touch. Is that um, Amber's voice in the background? I was thinking that. Creation is an act of sheer will. Sounds like him. Does, doesn't it? Life. Ah, oh, baby Bel- Velociraptor. Away. The Amber. We can't keep her here forever. They find her, we're never going to see her again. We got to protect her. That's our it's job. Okay. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. We created an ecological disaster. Yes, you did. Yeah. We'll do that without dinosaurs. Hey. Alex Sattler. Woohoo! Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? Little piano motif from the original theme there in the background. Uh, absolute. We're racing Bryce. the extinction of our species. We know That's good. Lack dominion hey, there he is. Yes. We're subordinate to it. No. Come on. Ooh, dinosaur with feathers. Uh, taking off the shades there. Come back. I always come back. Sensing a lot of Bond elements to this one. Yeah. Millennium Falcon here. That's yeah. Plane, right? <laughs> Not exactly. Oh, look at that shitty old plane. Couldn't they got something a bit more modern? <laughs> yeah. There's the big finish now. Don't, Don't move. Bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger? Well, there we go. You heard it from the horse's mouth, or should I say the Tyrannosaurus Rex's mouth, they've gone bigger. And in that in in that in that sense, I mean bigger budget because they've had to pay for Goldblum to come back. They've had to pay for something. <laughs> yeah. They've had to pay for Laura Dern. If they had any sense at all, they would have said, "We'll come back for the right price." It's going to cost you a fortune. That's it. But you know, talk about rolling out the old dinosaurs to try and reinvigorate the dinosaur franchise. No offense, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs. Uh, uh, had their shot but it goes to show that you know all of these like new actors i do like bryce Dallas howard to be honest i think she's talented but yeah chris pratt and the rest of it and you just think really what you've had to do is is bring back the old crew just to just to do something they'll pull people back into the fears to see this and that's the main pull here if you ask me by the look of it the fact that the oldies are back together yeah. for the first time since the first movie so they bookended it it's lovely seeing Sam Neill because I remember mentioning last year we hadn't seen him in much over the years, and obviously then we, we watched that um, Taika Waititi film. Yeah, 
the will the people one. Yeah, um, it's brilliant. So funny, which is that. brilliant and he's fantastic. And he was like, "Oh, Sam Neill, I haven't seen him." For he ages, was also so. in. Um, he played quite a prominent role in Peaky Blinders, and in that, he's from Northern Ireland. And I oh, thought, right. I thought, oh my god, this guy does a really good Northern Ireland. Northern Irish accent and then when I looked into it he's from Northern Ireland it's a bit like Kenneth Branagh really? it's like you never knew it but when you look at it he's originally from Northern Ireland Mad. and they obviously must have moved to New Zealand or whatever it is he's uh, known to be from but um, yeah it's great to see him in it he is, he's, I think he's a quality actor I love Jeff Goldblum and I love Laura Dern yeah um, but <laughs> whether I but love him enough to go here, and see this movie I don't yeah know. It, I kind of sit sitting there going, and as you were saying, it felt like Bond. It did. It just felt like they were copying scenes from other movies. Well, and the going, first time I thought that's when you see Bryce Dallas Howard running across the rooftops, getting chased by a Velociraptor, and you think, oh, there's a little bit James Bond there running along the rooftops. Next thing, there's Chris Pratt on his little motorcycle again, getting chased through the streets of Rome or whatever, and it totally yeah. smacks of Bond. You know, it's like, really? It was like they've this gone... A spake an action film, but just put dinosaurs in there. You exactly, know, and yeah. I felt like that when they're running across those uh, bridges at that factory or whatever they're at, you know, it was like like I was playing Call of Duty, but they've inserted dinosaurs into the map, you know. It's just like, this is <laughs> very silly. And know? every time Chris Pratt does his hand thing, don't you just want a dinosaur to bite it off? <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be entertaining. That would be funny. I think I actually seen a comment online that says, you know, if Chris Pratt uh, gets mauled by a dinosaur in the first five minutes and then the other three just take over, they'll go and watch it. But otherwise, forget it. So I don't think we're the only ones who aren't the biggest uh, no. Chris Pratt fans. Um, Colin Trevorrow is back in the director's chair for this one. He did not uh, direct the last one. That was somebody called J.A. Bayona. Uh, but uh, Trevorrow's back. Well, what do you think about uh, what they've done with that logo there? They've put it back into that sort of like amber thing that they had, you know, from the first film, or you know, the mosquito in amber and stuff like that, wasn't it? The idea that yeah. that's how they got to the DNA from the original dinosaurs somehow. It's clearly just a kind of play to... Look, we're, we're going back to what the original was. They're, they're trying the hardest to try and... I think they've probably listened, you know had the criticism of their... The last two movies of it, you know, oh, it's nothing compared to the original. And then this one, they've just gone, anything we can to uh, tr try and pull people in based on the nostalgia yeah. feeling. Uh, but it just looks, it still looks trashy to me. It does look <laughs> yeah. a bit trashy. It, it doesn't look any more than just like a good spectacle. I don't think they yeah. will have done anything deep and meaningful with the, bringing back the old characters. Uh, not no. really much attention to uh, character development or um, that kind of, you know, element to the story. It's just going to be all about the spectacle. That, the original's got the gravitas and the philosophy behind it and talking about, you know, ooh, should we the, be doing the, this? The, should we be doing it? The moral ambiguity, the, the scientists arguing and all that kind of stuff that's embedded into it and you believe in the characters and they're not really, you know, this is a sick film now and they're like... Since then, they've not really the first and the second a bit, or although the second's still weaker than the first. But it's like since the third, they've just not bothered, and that's what hurts it. You know, it's not got. It doesn't seem conclusive to me. It's just, no. as you say, just spectacle and more of the same. Look what we can he do. Even said it in the trailer. Why do they always go bigger? Because that's all they're doing is just go yeah. bigger and better. Have, you know, dinosaur with feathers this time. Have a big sea monster this time. Have a T-Rex that's twice as big as the last T-Rex. You know, it's kind of like, oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah. Anyway, so clever. there we go. That's our take on it. What do you say at home watching this? Are you fans of Jurassic Park and the whole franchise? Which one was your favorite Jurassic Park movie? Or was it one of the Jurassic World movies? Maybe you're just like... 14 years old and you're just like what are these old guys talking about this old <laughs> shit for the new one's the way to go who knows um, leave us a comment let us know uh, but I think that's it pretty much we're wrapped up here Dave any more dinosaur tidbits for us before we leave a what do you call the sleeping dinosaur I don't know a dino snore <laughs> terrible awful absolutely god awful like a huge dunk pile of shit. That is one big pile of shit. Okay, there you go. That's it. 
Thanks very much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here and we will see you hopefully again if you come back for another More Movies Reacts. Thanks for watching. Well, that's it for this video. Please leave us a comment and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe right here on YouTube. To check out more of our articles and reviews, check out our website, moremovies.co.uk. And why not join us on social media? That's uh, at More Movies for you across the board. You know the score. And if you'd like to support us, consider buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com or you can become a More Movies patron over on patreon.com. All the links are in the description below. And to check out more of our filmtastic videos, click one of the buttons on screen now.